If you're ready for that new fall do, then you don't want to miss this. Get inspired by the biggest celebrity hair transformations of 2012. I'm Nicole DeBeau in Hollywood for The Daily Buzz on CelebBuzz.com. We all know Hollywood is no stranger to transformations, whether it being for a role or just for the red carpet. So today we're counting down the biggest hair transformations of the year with the author of Dress Code Ending Fashion Anarchy, transformational makeover artist, uh, expert Eve Michaels. How are you, Eve? Great, how are you doing? I'm great and I'm ready to talk hair. So let's get this started with number five. We have Demi Lovato who debuted her new brunette locks on last night's X Factor. So which one do you like? The blonde Demi or the brunette? I like the brunette. I think she looks stunning and elegant and gorgeous and it brings out her skin tone and her eyes. But if she were gonna be a blonde, I liked it when she had that brown with the blonde, not the all pale blonde. Yeah, it was, it was a bit much. Yeah, and I don't really like the auburn or the bangs. I like her when she's just a true brunette. Yeah. With no I, bangs, I think it's soft, it's gorgeous, and really brings out all her features. I completely agree. All right, moving on to number four. We have Anne Hathaway's pixie cut. Now, she cut it for Les Mis. I'm a fan of it, although I did love her long locks, but what are your thoughts? I don't like her hair short at all. And if I were her, I would have tried to wear, uh, worn a wig for Les Mis. I understand doing it for your, your artistry of being a great actor, but ooh, I don't think it's flattering on her at all. And I really think she needs to have some hair product in there or sport some hats to do something until it gets to a more flattering look. All I can see now is kind of a goofy look. I don't think she looks glamorous anymore. I just focus on her nose rather than her gorgeous eyes. So. She's not a Halle Berry in short hair, really. I think she looks much better in long hair. Oh, man. I mean, I think she's one of the few women that can actually pull it off. So, uh, you know, to uh -oh. each their own. All right. And number three, we have Kelly Osbourne. And we all know that she is constantly transforming her look. We've seen her with brown hair, black hair, blonde hair. And most recently, we've seen her with lavender and gray hair. I mean, I can't wait to pick your mind about this. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I don't get it. I, I really looked at a lot of photos of her and when she had the blonde with a little gray, okay, but the whole gray lavender, it's so awful, except if she shot in perfect lighting. And when I saw her on the fashion police with that lavender gray hair and it was a little, you know, chunks of little bun ponytails, all, I was like, she should have been taken to the fashion police. I mean, what was that? It's, it, it brings out her eye color. You know, purples bring out green. Okay, but other than that, it's really not good at yeah. all. And we're all Kelly Osborne fans, but come on, we're done with the gray. Right. We're done. We're, <laughs> she we're needs moving to on. Find a color that looks good and stick with it for a while. Exactly. All right. And number two, one of my favorite transformations, Miley Cyrus and her pixie cut. Now, a lot of people were absolutely shocked by this, but Miley even said that she had never felt more herself with this cut. Are you a fan like I am? This is where we disagree again, but oh. we can disagree. I liked it when she shaved the sides and did the high volume top in that pale shimmery blonde. Yeah. I just don't love this, especially with the way she's wearing her makeup. Oh my gosh. And it looks like she pumped up her lips to compensate for the hair. <laughs> Something is going on. I mean, black, you know, dark, dark, thick brows with that blonde. And it's, as a color expert, I can tell you that yellow blonde is not the right shade for her. If she had that hairstyle and different blonde and toned down the makeup, I can get, you know, I could get with that. So but what color would you suggest for her? I liked it when she had brown with some blonde, like that uh. golden or that soft platinum. But this banana-ish yellow, ooh, with that cut and that makeup and those lips, oh, honey, she's just ruining her looks. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to number one. And this one was for a great cause. We have Kelly Pickler, who shaved her head for her friend who was battling breast cancer. Yeah. Or, I'm I mean, sorry, I, cancer. Right. I, I think she looks gorgeous. I think she is one of the few women I've ever seen that actually looks beautiful with her hair buzzed. Uh, I applaud her for what she did. And as she lets it grow, I think she's just going to look gorgeous. My favorite hairdo on her is when she had it in that kind of shorter in the back, longer in the front, clean bob, in that platinum blonde, worn asymmetrical, you know, over one eye. Stunning. But I got to say, she really is one of the few women I've ever known that looks good with, buzzed, with a buzzed head. She's still beautiful. 
All right, thanks, Eve. And You're we want to know, what do you think of 2012's biggest hair transformations? Let us know on Twitter using the hashtag The Daily Buzz. And for the latest news, go to celebbuzz.com.